Hi everybody, welcome to Cyberpunk 2077 and I'm going to show you one of the coolest mods you can put on the game uh, for PC which is absolutely amazing, it is the Metro mod which adds a whole monorail system to the game I mean just, just look at this look, let me go in here oh, we missed that one so you've probably noticed in uh, Cyberpunk when you look up in the uh, in the sky, you'll see these monorails um, around, and they you'll see cars on them as well. Um, um, and what they've done, what they've done with this mod is that they've added um, the ability for these things to work. Um, they've added them all over the city, and it's absolutely amazing. And it is done incredibly well. Have a look at it. So you can look up from the outside, or you can be on the inside you can turn the radio on if you wanted to so you can listen to stuff you could just watch the world go by the level of Im immersion with this mod is is simply simply fantastic so um what i'm going to show you is kind of how to use the mod and then we're going to look at how to install it as well when you're in the train you just press q to have a look round, um, and then q again to go first person press f to get out of the cab and if you look in the bottom right hand corner it will tell you where the next station uh, uh, is going to go to um, and then what you do is when you come out of the uh, kind of off the platform you'll find a um, an elevator and this takes you down to ground floor um, so that you can then get out and then we're kind of outside now these stations they're different from the normal fast transit stations um, and that can be a little bit confusing to start off with so what you can do is if you press M on the map, uh, M to get the map up, you'll see we've now got this new thing down below that says F, track closest N cart. So um, Night City um, uh, Rail Transport System, I guess that stands for or something. So if we press F, that then shows you where it is. So we're, we're right close to it, aren't we? Um, these aren't to be confused with the normal metro stations. Okay, so the normal metro ones are the ones you go there and you can fast travel to all the other metro stations. But you can also fast travel to the end cart stations. So you can use the um, you can use the monorail. Now that might be a little bit confusing. So what we'll do, I'm going to show you what I mean here. So what we'll do is let's just jump back in. And I'm just going to use free cam just to um, take us over here to... Uh, let's stop free cam. So let's go to this fast travel point. Here we go. Okay, so this is a normal fast travel point, yeah? So it just says F select destination. So if we press F to select destination, this we can now fast travel around, but this isn't the monorail system. To find the nearest monorail thing, we just press F and that will bring it up. And then you can uh, left click and hold to fast travel to the proper monorail station. They, uh, in lots of cases, they look the same. Um, the only ones that don't look the same are the ones that are just like a hologram. You, know, you go up to them and they're a bit odd those, aren't they? Because you can fast travel those anywhere else. So what this will do now, so this is, moves us to this area here. Now this is the end cart one. So this is the proper monorail. So you can see it says at the bottom of the screen, Press F to enter the end cart station. We go into the, um, the elevator. This takes us up. We're into the kind of a the uh, platform area. We jump into there and get into the car. And then when you're in the car, you press Q to change your uh, camera perspective. I think you can move seats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can move seats with the um, with your mouse wheel. How amazing is that? All right, we're right in the front. I mean, it's just a bloody amazing, isn't it? Oh my god, this is this is so fantastic. Anyway, right, so let's just pause that. So let's let's jump out and show you how you install this. So what you want to do is you want to go over to Nexus Mods. Um, I'll put a link in the description below the video. Now, the thing about the Metro System mod is that you can't install it. At least I don't think you can using Vortex. We're going to have to do this one manually, but don't worry, it's fairly fairly simple. Um, you do have a require is that a requirement? No, it doesn't have any requirements, so that's good. 
So it's read through the instructions how to install it, but it says um, download install uh, CET. All right, so it does need CET. Okay, so CET that um, Cyber Engine tweaks. So you can install that using Nexus um, uh, Vortex. Sorry. So install CET. Make sure that's running. The first time you open CET uh, in the game, the first time you run the game with CET on it, it'll ask you for a key binding. So you choose the key binding. I use Shift forward slash, and then write that down. Okay, because you'll you'll need that. Then come out of the game, and then we're going to install Metro System. So it's really easy. All you do is you just go to the files section and then you don't use the mod manager download do the manual download so download it to your hard drive and it will download somewhere like here and then what you need to do is you need to then copy that to your cyberpunk drive cyberpunk folder it's fairly easy to find if you just go to your the main drive where you, you install stuff go and program files 486 go into GOG Galaxy or it would be Steam if it was Steam and then go into games cyberpunk and then you would paste it there and then you would right click extract here okay and that would then extract it and that basically is done what you need to make sure though is within cyberpunk make sure that you got um, in features you got is it installation DLC features installation I think it's under. I know it might not be the same because I'm running the game now. But if you go under features, there's there's a thing that will say run with mod. Oh, right, my label, yes, yeah, Cyberpunk with mods. So make sure that that is the that is working. So you want to run it with mods. In fact, make it, you should make that your def default executable as well. Say OK to that, and then when you run it, it, it will it will be working and it will be there. And that's it really. Um, the the biggest challenge I found when first using this um, mod was the confusion between the metro stations which are the just the hologram ones which are just fast travel points to the other parts of the uh, I mean look, look, look we're coming up to the station so we press F and then we're out and that car will go on its way there it goes <laughs> I mean that's amazing that one did this let me go in here and go over here. I love the fact that there's vending machines here. And go, go in here. Go down in the elevator. And we're back on the street. Yeah, so the biggest confusion to start off with is the difference between ordinary metro stations, which are just fast travel points, and the end cart stations, which are the ones that actually take you to the um, to the monorail uh, that takes you around Night City. So there we go. What an absolutely fantastic mod. I think it's... Could it be my favourite mod? It's my favourite mod so far. Apart from Free Fly. I don't know. It's more immersive than Free Fly though, isn't it? I don't know. What do you think? Put your questions in the comments down below. And I will, of course, see you again soon.